You didn't go out with him? We went to the student grill and we had a soda. But that was just because I was really upset. So now Alfred comes over to my house, starts to apologize to me, hands me his fraternity pen. I mean, can you believe that one? Of course I believe it. Liza, he's really hung up on you. Yeah, well, I turned him down flat. Um, then before things got sticky, Tad shows up at my house. So I took it to my advantage. I just pretended like I was expecting him so Alfred would leave. So then Alfred left. Thinking that you and Tad were an item. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then little Alfred runs back to little Amanda, tells Amanda that I have been seeing Tad behind her back the entire time, which is a total lie. I mean, I would not do that to my best friend. Hey, listen, Mandy will get over it. So this means you won't be going to the 50s dance tonight with Alfred. And I won't be going at all. I haven't been asked. Why don't you ask Tad to go with you? Are you kidding? I am not about to go to a university dance with a high school student. Oh, Tad is very mature for his age. He's a jerk, and he's from a very low-class family, Marsha. He sure is sexy. Come on. Liza, he is a gorgeous-looking guy. You would be the envy of every girl at that dance. Speaking of the devil. Well, look at this. Two of Pine Valley's best-looking women at one table. Now, this has got to be my lucky day. Yeah. Jesse, that is fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Yeah, thanks, Jenny. I'm kind of happy for me, too. Wait, 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 when? How, how did all this happen? Well, okay, like you were saying, she was kind of uptight about staying the night at the motel, right? Uh-huh. She just yeah, didn't think it was me, right. So, right? um, what I did is I told her, listen, baby, we're going to be married one day or real soon, right? So why don't we just go ahead and get married now? So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, You're right? so lucky. Yeah, so you listen, are. listen. What we did is we went over the state line, right? We uh -huh. found this justice of the peace. Check it out. Hold on. Uh. Look at this. Oh. You guys look so happy. Yeah. Who took these? Uh, the JP's wife. Uh, the ceremony was a trip, Jenny. It wasn't, it wasn't one of them slough-off deals like, hey, hey, you're hitched. Good luck. <laughs> it was deep. I mean, the words well, and everything, it meant stuff. That's to the us, way it's girl. supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm so proud of this little girl. I'm so proud of her. The only thing, man, I want to tell everybody we're married, and I can't. Why not? Because we got to keep it quiet, because uh, my mother and father are thinking about getting back together again. Yeah? Well, so that's them. What's that got to do with you? Well, Baxter thinks that me and Angie still split up. So if he finds out we're married, he'll never come back home. Not that I care. You mean he's coming back just because he thinks you and Angie haven't been seeing each other? Well, that's part of the reason. You know, it's, um, they're supposed to be seeing his marriage counselor and all that stuff. And it's going to take a while for him, you know, to move back in with him or something. Uh, so <sighs> now you've got to keep it a secret? Yeah, Angie, she's afraid that it'll mess him up if we don't, you know, and it's driving me up a wall, man. We can't live together. We can't see each other without sneaking around, man. I feel like killing something. What? This, it's, this is just like it was before now. It's worse. She's my wife now. Josie, this is awful. Hey, I can't even call her on the phone. Even her mother still thinks we split up. Well, Angie, this must be really hard for her. Yeah, it is. Look, you know, it's just going to be a matter of time, you know? Just just be patient. Patient? Yeah. Jenny, Jenny, I'm on my honeymoon here. And my bride, she still has to ask Mommy and Daddy if it's all right to stay out after 9 o'clock at night. I... Patient. I know, it's pretty wild, but... Look, you guys have all the time in the world and things are going to work out. You guys, you've got the rest of your lives to be together. Listen, Silver, I really appreciate that. It's going to be awfully crowded around here with Devin and Bonnie moving in. So, I really think it would be better if I move out, don't you? Yeah, I hate to ask you. Where will you go? Well, I was thinking about that. You know, Erica, Erica's place is empty. Maybe I could stay there. I think Erica would have a fit if she ever found out. But she wouldn't find out, not unless you told her. I don't know. It's true, Mark. The only people she'd contact would be you and your mother. And there are lots of things to do there. The, the, the bills have to be paid. Yeah, that's true. The place has to be kept clean. Uh, the plants have to be watered. I could do all that for her. Yeah, you know, I, I think maybe the police have sealed that, that apartment up, though. They haven't. I checked with Albert, the doorman. Oh. Well, you know, it's not a bad idea, especially if you're going to be working in New York. And I will be. 
My agent called, and a lot of different photographers are interested in me now. Well. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, I guess. And look at it this way. I mean, Erica's so good at avoiding the police that there's no telling when she'll turn up. Okay. Hello? 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 All My Children will continue in a moment. Elton John and the Muppets tonight. Hello? 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 Must have been a wrong number. They hung up? Yeah, listen, Mark, I'll go upstairs and pack so I can leave for New York as soon as possible. Okay. Wrong number. Oh. I thought it might be Wally calling from St. Louis. I thought it might have been Erica. Erica? How come? Because when Silver answered the phone, whoever was on the other end hung up. Oh. Well, honey, maybe she'll call back later. I hope so, because if it is Erica, I want to tell her Nick's here. Hey, you got to promise me that you're not going to tell Just anybody, all right? Because I swore, I swore that I wouldn't. My lips are zippered, okay? Uh, well, you know, I have to tell you because you're like family. Oh, I know, but I don't think Angie would mind that you told me anyhow. But I promise I won't say anything, okay? All right. Oh, Jenny, you don't know how I miss the girl so much. It ain't funny, Jenny. Uh. You know what? Why don't, why don't you come over to my house and have dinner tonight? You want to? No, I wish I could. I'm gigging tonight at the Valley Dukes, oh. the college dance. You going? No. No, I wasn't asked, but I don't think I'd go anyhow. Well, come on, I think you should go. Unless it really ain't over with you and Greg, huh? It's really over, Jesse. He made that real clear. Oh, man, I still don't believe he means he what means he's saying. It. He oh, means it. He means no. it. He blames me, and he's just <clears throat> not going to forgive me. Oh, he's just, uh... He's out of his mind. And you ain't into going, going out with nobody else? No. I, Tad, I couldn't believe him today. He went and tried to fix me up with one of his friends over at the Martins. Tad the cat. <sighs> I'm just not ready yet. Bye, Liza. Bye. Liza, I hope I didn't run your friend off. No, not at all. She uh, had a tennis date. Hey, Tad. Can I get you anything? Uh, no thanks, John. I've got everything I need. So, um, are you ready for the big dance tonight? Are you going? Maybe. I hear it's gonna be a pretty swinging evening. Everybody driving around in all those 50s clothes and everything. Yep. Bobby socks and saddle shoes, the whole bit. You wanna go with me? No thanks. Don't tell me you're going to go out with Alfred. Certainly not. I decided that um, I'd go with a few of my girlfriends. We would all go together. You're kidding. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. You go with a bunch of friends, and you can dance with any guy you want. OK. Then why don't we split a couple uh, ticket for a couple? I mean, it's cheaper than buying two singles. Hey, why should I do you any favors? Hey, I'm the guy that got Alfred off your back, remember? Oh, yes. How could I forget? So? So, I don't owe you anything. You like my company, don't you? You know, I have this great idea. If you like your company so much, why don't you go by yourself? And why do you need me? Because you're the most beautiful girl in town. And you're a great dancer. <laughs> flattery gets you nowhere, Ted. It's not flattery. You know you turn me on. Why don't you behave? Only if you tie my hands behind my back. So what time should I pick you up? Did I say I was going to go? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. I'll be there. Ducktail and all. <laughs> 